welcome you back now to Alive and Wellness. We are all of that today, I'd say, Alive and Well. We want to take a moment, though, to tell you that, you know, we don't officially endorse any of the methods or practices that we show you every day. You know, many of these methods have not yet been investigated or approved by any government or regulatory agency. And national, state, and local laws vary regarding the use and application of some treatments. So remember, the segment information we show you is never a substitute for professional medical treatment, especially if you have a chronic illness. Check with your doctor before beginning any new regimen. And we're back now with Barry Bernstein, who's given us the, the rhythm of life today. It's the name of his project, in fact, which is three years old now. Three years old. And we were expanding even the kinds of ailments that it can uh, affect, you said, AIDS and stroke. And AIDS. We're having great success working with at-risk youth in inner cities. Um, we're starting to work with people in substance recovery programs, substance abuse and programs. And how does it uh, help folks with those kinds of problems? Well, in particular, with the people who are recovering from substance abuse, it gives them an alternative way to, to feel happy or to get energized and find a zest for life. Mm -hmm. And I find, I invented this piece of equipment called a drum table. I, I think I sent you a, mm -hmm. a picture of it. And it's five feet across. It's a hexagon that people can sit under. I designed it for my Alzheimer's patients so that wheelchairs could be wheeled underneath it. But my substance uh, abuse patients absolutely love it. And, it. and again, it gives them that community social interaction experience. Mm -hmm. They're making eye contact with each other and they're able to feel the common vibration. Yeah, I was asking you if the response seems to be subtle or remarkable and you say it really is both. Sometimes it's more one than the other. Then. Right. We've, yeah. had, we've had both kinds of experiences with our patients. At, folks in the audience were asking too how uh, not only how your interest was formed but how the group was formed in, yeah. in, in essence. It's a good story. Uh, in 1991, August of 1991, the Senate Subcommittee on Aging held a hearing uh, where they wanted to investigate how music could be used with the elderly. Um, Mickey Hart from the Grateful Dead, Theodore Bickell, um, Oliver Sacks, my research partner, Dr. Alicia Clare, were some of the people that testified. After the hearing, about two months later, I got a phone call. Uh, Mickey Hart was interested in trying to get a focus group started to look at how rhythm could be used as a wellness tool. Mm -hmm. And so people in the music industry, Remo Incorporated, LP Percussion is now involved. We have professional percussionists like Randy Crafton, Glenn Velez, Mickey Hart, mm -hmm. Arthur Hull, mm -hmm. um, the, and music therapists. We formed this coalition to work together to And that was the genesis this, of it. Right? Yeah, and now, as we said, it's, uh, it's a lot of ways to support it, and we have a number on the screen if anyone's okay. interested in getting in touch with you. We want to use the minutes we have left to let Barry do his thing again okay. and, and get the audience involved. Thank you for explaining Rhythm for Life. Wish you well. Thank you Just for like having us here. We're glad to have you here. Everybody okay. get involved again, okay? Okay, so what we're going to do now is called a rhythm weave, and we often teach rhythms in the music therapy clinic through using words, okay? Words are a great way to help us access rhythms because a lot of us use words all, all the time. So we're, our theme for today, often I'll have a different theme, our theme for today is food, okay? Because most of us like food. Raise your hand if you don't like food. Okay. So I'm going to get each group. Oh, I'm going to get each group started on their rhythm, and then Randy's going to help me. We'll then move to doing our rhythm with some body sounds, and then we'll stop saying the phrase, and we'll listen to how our rhythms fit together. Thus, the rhythm weave. So have fun. So here you go. Beans, beans, beans. Kidney beans, beans, beans. Kidney beans, 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 kidney beans, 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 kidney beans. Peanut butter and jam, peanut butter and jam, peanut butter and jam, peanut butter. Just say it, just say it. I'm clapping for me. Pop, pop, popcorn. Pop, pop. Mango, 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 mango,
man, go. Keep it up. Good. Pop, pop, popcorn. 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 Okay, now just play it. Don't say it. Listen to the rhythms.